What's good, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I don't really know how to address y'all. Because I think Mattel's starting to turn into Hasbro a little bit with this new um fucking... And yes, I'm going to curse in this video. So if you have, like, um very sensitive parents, get the fuck off of this video. Because I am going to curse. Um... Okay, so let's get this out of the way. This new Dino Tracker shit sucks. Ass. Um, I was I was scrolling through like collect Jurassic stuff because I love like listening to reviews. You know, I love just like listening to reviews of figures that I have in the background. It's very soothing and sometimes I agree, sometimes I don't agree. It's whatever, right? And then I see this new wave of freaking dino trackers, so I'm like, ooh, what's this? Um absolute nonsense and mind you i barely know the names of these things okay i am just now becoming informed of this absolute monarchy it's like they fired all of the designers in this in this fucking line and like oh um let's let a fucking five-year-old design our fucking action figures yeah totally and the thing is even, right, this is the main line, right? This isn't the fucking Hammond collection. I'm not asking for a premium fucking um, Hammond collection, Barry on next type figure with every single release. But the thing is, even your target audience isn't going to want this. Little boys are going to be like, oh, that thing is fucking ugly as shit. I don't want that. So why even make it? Like, I don't, and the action features are the same. I don't really like... Um, the medium-sized carnivores things that much. Because, well, I think it's pretty obvious. Um, you know, they just kind of, like, turn their head and roar and shit. It's kind of weird. I don't really like it, but... You know, it could have been a lot simpler if they just had to, you know, roar and shit. But I guess, whatever, Mattel, you do you. Turning into Hasbro anyways. Um... So let's start this. I know the name of like one. And that's the irritator. Okay, so here's the irritator. The irritator isn't bad. It's just that it feels like with the aquatic theme, they tried so hard. They made like the whole body like like ten times larger, you know, to freaking have the sh to have the fin and shit. Like and it bothers me, you know? So it's just like why? I hope the hammock look, um, one thing about these new releases is that the paint application is actually kind of well done. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, these are actually kind of good. Until you look at the sculpt and shit, and then you're like, well, that's where the budget went. And also, you have all these fucking paint applications. But there's no toenail fucking paint. There's no claw paint. So you have a green claw, but you have paint splatter all over the goddamn figure. Absolutely ridiculous. Just, yeah. Also, that goes for, like, everybody, not just the fucking irritator. The irritator is actually kind of fine. Not in that fucking way. I mean, like, it's fine as an action figure. I can deal with it. And then you have fucking the weird thing with fucking quills on its tail. That's the thing that made me mad. Because it's the same thing as... It's the same scale as the fucking Sino Tyrannus and Stegosaurus. I'm not paying 22 bucks for that. I'm not going to make my mom pay for it either. Just... No. Absolute bullshit. This is not... I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe me and Dino Games. Because he was the one who, like, gave me more information on these. Like, gave me better pictures and shit. Me and him were so confused with this one because we were like, um, okay, what the f We were so confused and we were just distraught. Oh my God, what's wrong with Mattel sometimes? Like, I understand the quality's, the quality's been, like, decreasing and decreasing over time. To be honest, I don't think it is. I think that, well, I mean, I used to think that, well, our expectations were getting a lot higher. Instead of their quality becoming lower, but never mind. Jesus. And I see all these people saying, oh, well, I like the paint scheme on this one. I like the fucking, I like the fucking, um, the scale detail. Like, bro, no. 
the sculpts are decent, but they look hideous. Like, they captured the texture and shit, right? But that's about it. It's just so ridiculous. I think the only thing... The only thing that's even, like, half savable is probably the Rex. But even then... I think this is, like, the fucking Legacy Collection mode or something. I don't know. I don't know much about this. Like, we only got, like, one or two fucking promo images for what I know. From what I know, okay? I don't remember, and I made this in kind of a rush, because, well, I need to get my immediate thoughts out of the way. The T-Rex is actually good, but... Do we, did we really need another Rex? Be honest. And it felt kind of random because oh, you're giving us like this giant ass fucking Indoraptor before you give us a T-Rex. Like really, it's kind of... But then again, Mattel has always been kind of inconsistent with their, with their lines. And also the fact that they keep rebooting and restarting old lines, which, you know, whatever. Like they keep renaming the shit and shit. Ooh, I spit by the shit and shit. Okay, anyway. Um... Yeah, I think that's really all I have to say for now. No, the thing is, all of these figures that were fucking released, too, they're all medium figures, medium to large. So, at the least, you're paying, like, at least 15 bucks for this. Um, these monstrosities of these figures. These are just... Dis... Not discru... Dis... Oh, my God. Disgusting. Just... Kind of disappointing, like... Honestly, like... I think the only part of Mattel that's like actually celebrating the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park is the Hammond collection. And even then, they're giving a shit like the fucking Concavenator, which has nothing to do with them. And even then with the Concavenator, they just kind of like, people wrote the randomness off as like, oh, well, it was the first dinosaur to be cloned. We don't need, we don't need to watch every Clayton Fiority video to fucking figure out why the concave in the hammock, the hammock collection before, let's say, I don't know, a novel Carnotaurus? Voila, that's a perfect idea. Go ahead, Mattel. And also, please listen to my rambles, please, because I love, I, well, I mean, I hate and I love talking about this nonsense. It's some bullshit, but whatever. Also, back to the T-Rex, I think the paint actually kind of saves it. But the thing is, it feels like the paint applications are also kind of missing. Like, compared to the other dinosaurs in this line, the paint apps are kind of missing. I think it's like, like, I haven't checked the pictures in like an hour. Because I forgot to make this video and now I'm getting all emotional. But since I'm making this on CapCut, I can't check out the images. So... So, from what I remember, there were like uh, there was, like, stripes and, like, a little bit of fade around the fucking eye, and that's about it. There wasn't that much to... There wasn't that much to see. So, it's just kind of, like, base paint, stripes, eyes. You know, it's kind of, like, business as usual from Mattel. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being weird, being me. You know, the most crack stop motion creator. Um... Yeah, so I think that's about it. That's all I really have to say for today. Um, I guess goodbye. You know, whatever. Goodbye, I guess. Um, see you next time. I think that the Hammock Collection Baryonyx versus the Hammock Collection Triceratops, if I get it done, will release tonight. Which, please check that out if you're watching this before that. Because I need the views. Makes me feel validated. Anyways, goodbye, people. Goodbye.